The Lazy Man's Guide to Enlightenment by Thaddeus Golas Chapter 1 Who are we? We are equal beings and the universe is our relations with each other. The universe is made of one kind of entity. Each one is alive, each determines the course of his own existence. That's really all you need to know to understand this book or to write your own. Everything I say has its roots in that first paragraph and it's possible to resolve any question by going back to it and thinking it through for yourself. The universe is made of one kind of whatever it is which cannot be defined. For our purpose it isn't necessary to define it. All we need to do is to assume that there's only one kind of whatever it is and see if it leads to a reasonable explanation for the world as we know it. The basic function of each being is expanding and contracting. Expanded beings are permeative, contracted beings are dense and impermeative. Therefore, each of us, alone or in combination, may appear as space, energy or mass, depending on the ratio of expansion to contraction chosen, and what kind of vibrations each of us expresses by alternating expansion and contraction. Each being controls his own vibrations. A completely expanded being is space. Since expansion is permeative, we can be in the same space with one or more other expanded beings. In fact, it's possible for all the entities in the universe to be in one space. We experience expansion as awareness, comprehension, understanding, or whatever we wish to call it. When we are completely expanded, we have a feeling of total awareness of being one with life. At that level, we have no resistance to any vibrations or interactions of other beings. It is timeless bliss with unlimited choice of consciousness, perception and feeling. Space is a level of experience that any of us can reach, but it is difficult to talk about it on our present plane precisely because it is unlimited. It is that which chooses limits and makes definitions. We might say, all experiences are available to the one mind, and the one mind is all of us, or any of us, at the highest level of expansion. Or, we might theorize, God could not create anything more limited than himself that would persist, but if he duplicates himself, he can enjoy a persistent universe. Each entity, therefore, is a duplicate of God made in his image. It doesn't matter what words we use, we exist and the universe exists and it is possible to test this expansion contraction idea within the limited scope of what is real to us as human beings, especially in atomic and subatomic studies. When a being is totally contracted, he is a mass particle, completely imploded. To the degree that he is contracted, a being is unable to be in the same space with others, so contraction is felt as fear, pain, unconsciousness, ignorance, hatred, evil, and a whole host of strange feelings. At an extreme, he has the feeling of being completely insane, of resisting everyone and everything, of being unable to choose the content of his consciousness. Of course, these are just the feelings appropriate to mass vibration levels, and he can get out of them at any time by expanding, by letting go of all resistance to what he thinks, sees or feels. When a being is alternating expansion and contraction, he is energy. My guess is that at the middle point, 50% of expansion and 50% of contraction, 
A being would be logical, non-subjective, egoless and predictable. This may be the zero, which is one side of energy equations in physics, as well as the ego death we go through in expanding to higher levels of awareness. It is important to note that energy is not a quantity of anything objective. Energy, like space and matter, is what a lot of live beings are doing. Energy beings usually react to their neighbors in a way that is often predictable and apparently automatic, like falling dominoes. While relating to space beings, energy beings will appear to be high, vibrating rapidly with a sense of increasing subjective freedom. Oriented to mass beings, they will be low energy, vibrating more slowly with a growing feeling of subjective compulsion and disorder. The universe is an infinite harmony of vibrating beings in an elaborate range of expansion contraction ratios, frequency modulations and so forth. There is a particular set of feelings and ideas that go with every variation, every combination, every vibration level. There's also a different perception of how other beings are relating from every different viewpoint. The thought of these possibilities is so staggering that trying to contain them in writing is so ridiculous that it is hard for me to move my pen any further. However, what we are after is to isolate some basic attitudes that will recover awareness of our freedom to move around in this maze or to go straight to the top. This is part one of chapter one of the Lazy Man's Guide to Enlightenment.